Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little interesting. I actually have been testing out something that recently came out and it's by Rimmel and it's their um, Wonder Cloud All Day Wear Soft Shadow. Um, this is an interesting product. So I have some things to say and I'm definitely gonna do a demonstration to kind of show you what has and what hasn't been working with me. So if there's nothing else for me to say, then let's get started. So this Rimmel uh, liquid eyeshadow, in a sense, uh, recently came out. It came out with several different shades. The one I got was number 004 Spiced Petal. And it's this really beautiful caramel, just neutral, beautiful color. So I got that. And um, what the packaging says <laughs> is that it's a whipped texture with buildable pigment. It, it has a built-in primer, has all day wear, and it doesn't crease. It blends like a dream. You can use your fingertips or you can use, you know, a brush, which is what I've kind of been using. And you can work it from a soft kind of color to a more intense, in, uh, intense color so that you can get a greater and better build and color in your look. The applicator, which is really interesting, has an ultra soft tapered applicator for quick and mess free application and it is ophthalmologist tested. This in itself is, it's just really, it's a really interesting product. I'm gonna show you the, the applicator. It's really, really interesting. You can kind of see right there. It's just really, just, uh, it's very, it's flat as you can see. And it's, it's a definitely a doe foot app applicator. The applicator is also very bendy and it's it's soft. I'm trying to be gentle here so not to break it, um, but it's just really, really nice. Um, with this specific color, I'm going to show you right here. This is what it looks like. It's like I said, a very neutral brown pinkish kind of color. It's really, really a pretty color. I really enjoy it with this specific eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. It says it has a built-in primer. I would recommend that you still use your own primer underneath it first, and I'm gonna show you in a sec why. So I'm gonna put primer on this eye and no primer on that eye, and you're gonna see why in a sec. So I'm gonna put some on right now, and I'm gonna be using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I really like this stuff, and it's really light. I don't have to use a lot. Now, like I said, what I've been using is a brush and I tend to use kind of a flat head here. So something that I can kind of just pat on. I will say this, that this for me, this formula is super fast drying. So you do need to work quickly. I can see why it would say to, you can place it on your eye directly. I, I mean, I, I think that's fine, but um, I don't know. I kind of feel a brush seems to be a little more better for me than just using your finger. But, um, what I'm gonna do first then is just use my finger and then I'm gonna go back on top of the brush to kind of show you. There isn't really much of bald spots, which is nice. And it works, like I said, it works well. You can kind of just blend it all out. I kind of like the brush more just cause I can get more of an intense look almost a lot faster than needing to use my finger. So that's kind of what I like to do. So you can kind of see that it's just a really soft layer, soft look on my eye. And with the brush, I will say also this, that more product tends to get on there. And kind of see how much more intense it can be. And because it does pick up more product, you will need to use more of it the brush so where is that so it looks really natural looks really nice dries really quick and I'm going to show you what happens when you don't put the primer on something I noticed when I was you know using not using a primer in another with the eye just 
straight up like this is that it would get very tight almost like instantly because it dried so fast and this I would just would have a really hard time you know just moving because the eyeshadow is just so drying and tight so yeah this this eye was just so tight not using a primer but now it's like it's fine so I'm just really confused now what the heck happened but that's kind of how it was in the beginning it hasn't been that way anymore I'm just so confused right now about how this primer or this eyeshadow is because it was just so tight um either way you know just overall it it doesn't um it doesn't do a balding spot but it and it it layers other stuff layers really nice on top of which i'm gonna i'll just show you so i'm going to get a fluffy brush now i'm gonna go within my milani palette let's see so um i'm gonna use kind of a darker shade just do a really simple neutral color eye look here so i'm gonna uh, tap into branch out and i'm just gonna put that in the corner of my eye With everything that layers on with the primer, it just, it looks really good. So let's see here on the other side now, if it'll also layer just as nice. Now I'm curious, because my opinion originally was use the primer and you're, or you're going to deal with really tight eye eyelids, but it's not doing it anymore. So now I'm just really confused. <laughs> Yeah, I would still use the primer because I can already tell the intensity of the eyeshadow with this side is just much lighter. And it doesn't seem to stick more so on this side. It's just really, yeah, I would still use a primer if I were you because I'm still dealing with some like gripping and I'm seeing some bald spots with the eyeshadow with this one versus on this side it seems to just really be nice and easy and doesn't want to see any open spots so you can kind of see there this one just has some bald spots right around here I'm not seeing it there so we're just going to do that and then I'm going to use I love Weekender I like it so much, so I'm just going to use it and I'm going to just place it on top of the lid here. I'm going to use my finger and then I'm going to click here. Yeah, I can already see kind of an intensity difference with this eye versus that one. That one's really, really bright. And this one is much, it's a little more muted. It's not as intense. Yes, I know it's not like the perfect eye look I'm making right now, but I'm trying to show you why I still think you should use a primer. Just in itself, everything that layers on top of it, it just makes a huge difference. I'm, I'm still surprised that there's no tightness when I generally have felt it before and there isn't. <laughs> the eyeshadow itself, the primer, it's it's okay. It's not amazing. I'm, it sets really quick, I will say this. And uh, even just showing you right here, if I were to try to, you know, try to rub it off, it does take some effort. So I would recommend uh, using a cleansing balm to first remove your makeup. I just feel with a primer, eyeshadow primer, it just it makes a huge difference. You can tell in itself how much and how well it layers. It looks really nice. I think you should do that. I hope this video gave you a little more information about this specific product and it just came out. I, yeah, <laughs> sorry this video was a little funky. <laughs> anyway, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of when I upload new videos. And I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend. I love you, take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.